Hey guys, it's Numa Stacker and I'm back with you today to tell you that cheap gold really, really sucks. Yes, cheap gold really, really sucks. Well, it sucks if you are in the United Kingdom in the middle of a Brexit. And uh, let me show you why. Um, a lot of people ask me where to get cheap gold in the UK. And there are two places that I'd recommend. One is Hatton Garden Metals and the other one is... Um, Atkinson's Bullion and I guess if you are visiting London and uh, you want somewhere that you can physically go to then Hatton Garden Metals is probably one of the easiest places to pick up fairly close to spot uh, gold. So well the last time the gold price was pretty cheap um, the exchange rate with the pound against the dollar was about 1.55 something like that Today it is 1.29, if I'm right, maybe 1.3. It kind of varies. And uh, if you'd have picked up 10 sovereigns, if you'd have picked up these 10 sovereigns back when the uh, exchange rate was slightly different, it would have been £1,770 for 10. It is now £2,253 uh, for 10. And effectively, the price in spot gold is exactly the same. So any of us in the UK who decide to buy gold at this point uh, are taking quite a big risk, even though the price of gold is at a uh, pretty cheap rate. I would say probably a little bit too low, but there doesn't seem to be any factors driving up the price of gold at the moment. And uh, so if we buy gold over here, we're paying 225 to 235 pounds for each sovereign. Um, they were at their lowest in my recent memory, about 178 pounds for a sovereign. And so if and when the exchange rate recovers back to 155, which I fully expect it to do um, based on some kind of post-Brexit recovery, no matter whether there's a hard Brexit or a soft Brexit, over the following three or four years, sterling probably will recover to 155, 160, which seems to be its natural long-term um, exchange rate. So uh, if you're buying at a 1.3 exchange rate at the moment, then of course you are taking a risk in buying bullion. And I just wanted to kind of use that as an example to explain to you why most of my buys recently have been numismatic and not connected with exchange rates particularly or the price of spot gold. Um, but if you are less of a collector and more of a stacker, then even if you're in the UK, you will probably still be looking at bargains um, You know, in, in terms of uh, the current price of gold being pretty low. I mean, obviously, if the exchange rate recovers and the price of gold goes up to, you know, 1,300, 1, 1,400, maybe even higher, then the obviously the cost of those sovereigns will stay pretty much the same. So you never really know. And it seems to be when one goes up, the other one goes down. When one goes down, the other one goes up. And there's never really a kind of happy medium. So, uh, you know, feel free to go to any of these bullion dealers and buy something. Um, if you are after gold, which has been what they call pre-owned here, so in other words, someone's come in to sell it to Atkinson's and they've bought it over the counter and they're now reselling it, then uh, there are quite a lot of coins that are available at lower prices than you would normally have to pay on something like eBay. Uh, I don't know whether Atkinson's um, send internationally. They might very well do. Hatton Garden Metals, I'm not sure they do send internationally. So you may need to have a friend in the UK to take delivery of them. But uh, Atkinson's have everything on their, in their website, including postage. Uh, Hatton Garden Metals charge extra $7, seven pounds for postage. So uh, compare the prices. It looked to me like uh, Atkinson's are very, very marginally cheaper for some coins at the moment, given that they have the um, postage included. Uh, big variety of coins. And talking about variety, when gold was at 178 or so for a sovereign, there was almost nothing in the shops. It was a bit like communist Russia. Um, you know, you go in one day and there's a sovereign, the next day and there's a 
um, a Kruger Rand the next day and there's an American Eagle. And you can see what the demand was at those kind of levels for coins in the UK. Gold is now at the same spot price, but if you go in and take a look and you want to buy something, you can basically have your pick of pretty much anything that is available in the market right now, even though the gold spot price is basically the same. And the reason for that, of course, is the exchange rate and relative cost in the UK. So that's why I think spot gold, cheap spot gold sucks for us English people. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I may make another one before I go off to Australia, but uh, otherwise I'll be in Australia for the next week or so and I uh, might do a live cast or something like that. But uh, have a great week and uh, please like. I always like to see likes. Uh, please subscribe. And even if you don't subscribe, please ask lots and lots of interesting questions for everyone to answer.